shout out to everybody watching. This morning, I'm with my friends Chris and VI. We're coming out looking for some more rainbow trout. Besides the fishing, just enjoying nature is awesome. On the spinner, nice. V's killing it with the spinners over there. But we just got hit right here, so we're gonna stick with the power for a little bit more. Old school power bait, okay. I'm gonna use one of my trusted yellow corn flavor. Give my generous piece. You want to make sure that you cover your whole hook. And let's see if this trout go for this one right here. It's one of my trusted power bait colors and flavors. I'm gonna throw it right in front of them, their cover, and let's see if they go for it. Or a spinner, and Chris got him. And, oh, I just had a hit right there. Fish on. And I'm on too. I'm out on the power bait, baby. <laughs> there it goes. First fish of the day for me. Feels good. See, I'm using power bait because these breeders around this area really like the power bait. This is a tank. Hey, guys, this is a nice one. On the power bait. There it goes. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, no, this guy is a tank. Oh, this guy, this guy is nice, dude. This guy is nice. This is a nice one. Right on that power bait. He wanted that corn. Oh yeah, guys, this is a nice fish. Oh yeah. So now we're gonna fight him nice. But I try to get him through my net here. Uh, see, that's what happens. That's why I'm fishing with power bait, guys. These guys really like the power bait. Uh, hold on a second. Let me get this guy here. He's hooked really good. So let me try to get him in here. Oh, it's a nice fish. I'm trying to get him closer to the bank. There's another reason that I use my Gamagatsu hooks. But this guy's a tank. There he goes, there he goes, I got him. There you guys. Gonna land this fish now. <laughs> He's fighting. He got right behind me. There he goes. Now we got him. Let me get this fish right here. Beautiful fish. Doesn't have to be a perfect ball. It could be oval shape. It's fine. As long as you give them a generous, not too big, but nice, generous piece that they can see and smell. Because that guy went for it. Some more will go for it. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing I just did right now. Basically, just drift the power bit. And it's an excellent choice when you're harvesting fish, especially this stock trout. So I'm gonna cast it right there. These guys are killing it over there with that. But I got the biggest fish on the power bait. Chris has got two on the stringer. V, I think he's got four. V, how many you got? Four. Fish on. There he goes. I felt them. Going for the power bait. There he goes. Number two for the day. Nice, beautiful rainbow. Just a little one. Well, not little, but 
it's a good size to eat. Look at this guy right here on the power bait. a little bit. We're gonna, have, we're gonna net this guy right there. There it comes. Second beautiful rainbow of the day. Fish on. There it goes. Don't want the bar bait. So that's how you fish power way on the rivers guys. Hitting really nice. Let's see. Nice fish. It's another nice one here. Beautiful rainbow. Waiting for the power bait. Swallowed it. There it goes. Nice rainbow on the power bait. I'm harvesting fish today, guys, so it's all good with the treatment. This technique is for any dough bait. My confidence right now, it's always been for years, is on the power bait. I have used all the brands but power baits what to stick with anyway so what you want to do is set your weight and cast it right there where you see a pool and just wait for a bite you can definitely tell when you're bouncing on the rocks but then you can also tell when they take it limited 60 in new jersey anybody could fish this way and it's also a lot of fun like I'm getting a hit right now. There you go, there it goes. Fish on. Fish on. See? Just like that, around the pool. And this fish are really liking my old school power bait today. Let's see. There it goes. Another beautiful rainbow. Right on my power bait. See him? Well, we're definitely gonna harvest this guy also. It's gonna be number four. And any of you guys can come out and do this and have a good time. There it goes, bam! Number four trout right there. How to fish the power bait once again pick your fave right now this one the, one the one that's working make sure that you always have different flavors colors right now i'm working with the uh, yellow corn and it's been working wonders okay once again make sure you hope you cover your hook properly okay it's a little messy but it is what it is Especially when your hands are wet already. But anyway, make sure you make a circle, tear, a little pear, whatever. All right. Then you have your split shot. And you have your tiny hook. I'm using a Gamagatsu number 10. And you're just going to go ahead and cast it right in the middle of a pool. Or close to the structure right now. It seems that some fish are right in the middle of the pool here. It's a big boulder. Read the water and just wait. Now, with my St. Croix here, Trout Series, I could feel the blank through there, so I could feel the bites. So it's always good to have good gear, of course. Today I have my uh, St. Croix Trout Series 5.4, along with my Shimano Sedona 1000. Number four pound test line, fluorocarbon, is a must. 
And let's wait for another bite. I'm thinking they're hiding right behind that rock. I'm getting a hit right now. Oh, that was a hit right there. There it goes. Wait, he came back for it. Maybe he took it already. Hey, look. Yep, they got me on it. So, sometimes they do get away if you don't set the hook. I felt the pop pop. I felt my tip. I was too slow. But we're gonna recast and do it again. Now, for the people that, that know where I'm at, this area, this particular river, is catch and release the entire year, except during the spring stocking season. <laughs> oh boy, again. Like I said, make sure you have a couple of jars of power bait, power bait with you. Because you do lose it. This, this fish are quick. This trout are really hungry. And they are taking my power bait. Fish on. There he goes. I felt him. Oh yeah. There he goes. Oh, those power beats. Freaking making it happen, guys. Making it happen. Beautiful trout. Right, went for for that power beat. There he goes. All right, so this is number five on my stringer. I got one more for limit. All on the power beat, guys. So. You guys are starting out, want to come out, get your limit, have great dinners, lunches, whatever. This is the power bait. I ran out of the yellow corn power bait, so I'm going to change it to this Gulp Alive fat trout worm in pink. Totally different. But let's see if this does the trick for the last fish. So this guy, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fish him the same way I was fishing the power, but I'm going to wacky rig this guy. Just like that. All right. And I'm gonna drift them around the bottom, just the same way. See if I get my last trout on this guy here. Now this is a Gulp of Life product. It is by Berkeley, but it's a little bit different. These are the ones that come with the little juice. I just got a bite. Got a bite on him. That was definitely a bite. Fish on. There it goes. And a pink worm. Nice, baby. I knew I felt him. There it comes. A nice pink worm. Last fish of the day. <laughs> now I got my limit, guys. Round Berkeley products. Look at this guy. Pink worm right in his mouth. Wacky rigged. Okay. And this guy, I'm gonna call it a session. Beautiful catch. Right in his mouth. Felt him going for it, okay. Right there. As you guys saw, I was able to get my deli limit here in Jersey for the spring of six trout. All on Berkeley products, including power bait on this case yellow corn power bait and the gulp alive pink worms so listen come out here guys this is the time to get them 
and uh, enjoy yourselves. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.